in situations where we are confronted with a dichotomous dependent variable, we may want to consider fitting logistic regression model. However, depending on the field of research we may find ourselves, it does become very critical to choose between logistic regression that reports coefficient or logistic regression that reports odds ratios. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fit logistic regression that reports coefficient. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how you can use the margins and the margins plot to intuitively explain the result for policy communication purposes. Pick up your laptop and join me in class. Thank you. Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to fit or estimate logistic regression that report coefficient in Stata. And specifically, I'm going to look at how an increase in the number of years of education can influence the likelihood of a graduate getting employed. And therefore, I'm going to begin by describing the variables that I'm going to use for the analysis. And so I do that by typing the command describe. Then I select employ and educ. Then I press my enter key. Looking at the screen, the result presented here tells us that employ represents the employment status of a graduate. In other words, it tells us whether a graduate is employed or not. And educ represents current years of education completed by a graduate. Okay, I'm going to move a step further by summarizing these variables just to have a further idea of how they were measured and so i do that by using the command sum then i select these variables again employ and educ i press the enter key again considering the results on the screen employ is a dichotomous or binary dependent variable with its mean and max to be zero and one educ is a continuous variable with its mean and max being seven and 19 years of education respectively okay at this stage i'm going to fit the logistic regression and so i'm going to use the command logit therefore i type logit then i select employ which is my binary dependent variable and education in years which is my independent variable then i press the enter key okay so this is the result we have on the screen presented at the top left is the iterated likelihood right beneath it is the final log likelihood okay then at the top right here i see some diagnostic statistics now the first is the number of observation which is 1717 then we have the likelihood ratio chi-square which tells us the fitness or the global fitness of the model and it is 10.07 it comes with the corresponding probability and looking at the probability tells us that it is significant and therefore we can confidently say that our model is well fitted or estimated okay now there is something i want you to understand or know here the pseudo r squared here is different from the r squared we obtain whenever we fit or estimate linear regression under ols algorithm okay over here the interpretation does not represent percentage explained of the dependent variable and so the interpretation is very very tricky as a result of that researchers do not consider discussing it at all simply because it is very, very tricky to interpret okay now let's take a look at the main results i can see coefficient here i can see standard errors here i can see z value i can see p value as well as the confidence interval okay now in logistic regression the coefficient are log odds okay and therefore interpreting them is very very tricky without transformation however if I am to interpret it as it is, the result here tells me that a one year increase in education increases the log odd of a graduate getting employed. 
However, you can see that it is still not intuitively clear and therefore to make it more easier for interpretative purposes, I'm going to move a step further by computing the marginal effect or the marginal probabilities. And I do that by using the command margins, comma, at, then I type education, which is the independent variable equal to, then I open a parent. Now I'm interested in calculating the marginal probabilities of education ranging from seven years to 19 years of education with an increment of two. And therefore I type seven, I open a parent again, type two, close the parent, and then I type 19. Okay, now I close the parent. So what I have typed here implies that I am interested in computing the marginal probabilities or the marginal effect of education from seven years to 19 years with an increment of two. Okay, at this stage, I press the enter key. Okay, so as you can see, the result here, one at representing 17 years, two at representing nine years, three at representing 11 years, through to seven at representing 19 years. You can also see that we have an increment of two because from seven to nine, there is an increment of two, nine to 11, there's an increment of two because we two stated that we are interested in the marginal probabilities or marginal effect of education from seven years to 19 years with an increment of two. And so that is what we see here. Now let's move to the main result. Okay, so this is the result we have here. You can see that at one, which represents seven years of education, the marginal probability is this value. And therefore, if I am to interpret this one, the result here implies that the marginal probability of a graduate with seven years of education getting employed is 69%. Again, if I consider the last one, which represents 19 years of education, the result here tells me that the marginal probability of a graduate with 19 years of education getting employed is 83%. Okay, so that is how it is interpreted here. Now, there's also one thing I want you to take a look at here. You can see that as years of education increases, okay, this stands for seven years, this stands for nine years through to 19 years of education. So as the years of education increases, you can also see that the marginal probability of a graduate getting employed also increases. So this tells us that there is a positive relationship between years of education and the likelihood of a graduate getting employed. Now you can see that this result, as we see here, is confirmed by the result from the model itself. You can see that the sign here is positive. So it tells you that there is a positive relationship between years of education and the likelihood of a graduate getting employed. Okay. Now I can also present the marginal probabilities in the form of a graph and then discuss it as well. And to do that, I'm going to pick this same command because I don't want to type again. And this time add the option plots. Okay. Then I press the enter key. You can see that the same result is produced, but this time it comes with a graph. Okay. So as you can see from the graph, the horizontal axis here tells us or represents the current years of education completed by a graduate and the vertical axis represents the marginal probabilities of a graduate getting employed. And so looking at the graph, as years of education increases, the probability of a graduate getting employed also increases marginally. So that is what we see here. Okay. And you can see that what the graph is telling us is in line with what we saw when we computed the marginal probabilities. Okay. You can see that there is a positive relationship between years of education and the likelihood of a graduate getting employed. And the same is being presented by the graph as well. Let me shut this one down. Okay. So this is how you can fit or estimate logistic regression that reports coefficient using the command. I can also use the point and click approach, what we normally refer to as the interactive approach 
to fit the model okay and to do that i'm going to go to statistics and go to binary and you can see logistic regression reporting coefficient over here so i'm going to pick that up by clicking on it okay so there is a, a dialog box and here i'm supposed to fill in my dependent variable so i select employ okay then my independent variable is education so i select it here as well okay now that i have selected my independent variable and the dependent variable i can hit the ok button okay so this is the result we have as you can see the result we have here is the same as the result we obtained when we used the command approach okay so just as i explained interpreting the coefficient of a logistic regression is very tricky without transformation however if i am to interpret it as it is then the result here tells me that a year increase in education increases the log odd of a graduate getting employed okay now just as i said intuitively it is not clear and therefore to make it more clearer for interpretative purposes i'm gonna also compute or estimate the marginal effects or the marginal probabilities and again i do that by going to statistics and this time i come to post estimation now you see this dialog box it is already highlighted here i see marginal analysis so i click on it then under it i see marginal means and marginal effects fundamental analysis i select that and launch it okay so let me close this dialog box and then use or play with this dialog box here so over here i'm being requested to fill in the covariate that i'm interested in computing its marginal effect and therefore i select education and then remember using the command approach i also told stata that if you compute the marginal effect of education from seven years to 19 years with an increment of two and therefore i'm going to type the same here so i type seven open parent two close parent and 19. so it implies seven years of education to 19 years of education with an increment of two okay so i hit my ok button okay and so this is what i have over here okay so looking at the results as you can see the marginal effect or the marginal probabilities here is also the same as what we had when we were using the command approach and therefore the interpretation as i said over here tells me that the marginal probability of a graduate with seven years of education getting employed is 69 percent and then if i am to consider 19 years of education which is represented by seven then what the result here tells me is that the marginal probability of a graduate with 19 years of education getting employed is also 83 percent okay now just as i did using the command approach i can also present these marginal effects in the form of a graph and to do that i'm going to go to statistics again and then again come back to post estimation select marginal analysis just as i did select marginal means and marginal effect fundamental analysis and launch it okay let me close this dialog box again now as you can see because i have used it before it is already filled up and so i'm not going to change anything but just to check this box because i'm interested in drawing the profile plot of results and then i hit the ok button again okay once again the same table is presented but this time with a graph as well just as we saw when we were using the command approach okay so just as we saw using the command approach the horizontal axis here represent current years of education completed by a graduate and then the vertical axis represents the marginal probabilities of a graduate getting employed okay so interpreting the results we can see that as years of education 
increases, the probability of a graduate getting employed increases marginally, just as we saw when we used the command approach. Okay, so that is how you fit a logistic regression reporting coefficient in Stata. I hope this is helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you do not miss the subsequent videos that I'm going to release. Bye-bye.